Hey there, digital dynamos and newsletter enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel where we dive deep into the world of digital marketing magic and bring you the latest and greatest hacks to supercharge your campaigns. In today's episode, we're tackling a topic that's a game changer for anyone looking to elevate their newsletter game, creating straight line HTML code to make beautifully stunning and engaging newsletters, all thanks to the genius of Letterman AI. Gone are the days of wrestling with clunky designs and coding headaches. With Letterman AI by your side, you'll be crafting sleek professional newsletters that not only look incredible, but also captivate your audience from the moment they click open. So whether you're a seasoned pro looking to streamline your process or a budding marketer eager to make a splash, today's hack is tailored just for you. We'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to leverage Letterman AI to generate clean, efficient HTML code that translates into visually compelling newsletters. So if you're ready to transform your newsletter strategy and create emails that not only deliver value, but also dazzle, you're in the right place. So grab your notepad and let's dive into the world of Letterman AI and HTML newsletter mastery. Don't forget, if you love these insights and want to keep up with all things digital marketing, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, ring the bell so you never miss out on the tips, tricks, and hacks. And I want to let you know, if you're seeing this video in early 2024, Letterman is not available to the public yet. So sign up for that newsletter, get on that early bird waiting list, and you'll be one of the first to know when Letterman is launched and live to the public. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is log into Letterman and click on the upper right-hand side where it says Newsletter Publications, and you'll see the screen where your publications are. I've also created a full tutorial that's step-by-step -step showing you Letterman from start to finish. So if you haven't watched that yet, please check out that video. It's pretty long, but it's very detailed and it'll give you all the information that you need to create your avatar and your newsletters using Letterman. So you wanna make sure you pick the correct newsletter first, and I'm gonna use Buzzbrew Media in this case. I'm gonna scroll to the right, click the three dots, and click Add Newsletter. Okay, so one of my favorite things in Letterman are the sections, and I like to click the smiley face because it has really fun, playful, engaging things that you can put inside your newsletter. So one of the first things I like to add is a trivia question. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that block and drag it underneath my banner and Letterman AI will populate a trivia question in the world of marketing. What's the term for the process of identifying and dividing market into a distinct group of buyers who might require separate products or marketing mixes? Do you know the answer? If you do, before you get to the end of this video, put the answer of what you think it is in the comments because I want to see how smart you are. Okay. So the next thing I like to add in this case is a video. So I want to click on this add sections on the left side where it looks like a piece of paper and that's where you're going to get to the video section. So you're going to grab the video block, drag it underneath the trivia question and there's where it's going to go. So I want to look up some newsletter hacks. So I've gone to YouTube, I've searched newsletter hacks and I'm going to scroll down and see if there's anybody I know in this feed here. There are a lot of people I don't know and I haven't watched their content, so I don't really wanna post it because I don't know them yet. But I do know this guy, Brian Dean. He is a powerhouse in marketing. So I wanna share how I grew my newsletter to 91,000 and XXX number of subscribers. I followed Brian Dean for a while. He knows a lot about SEO. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, and a note. You don't wanna use the share button in this case. You wanna grab the URL straight out of the address bar up on the top of your browser. So then let's go back to the newsletters, click set video, and on the right hand side, there's a section that says insert video URL, and you're gonna throw that into there, paste it in, click update section, and then that's gonna add Brian's video thumbnail here so someone can click right on there. It's gonna take them straight to his YouTube channel. And I feel very good about promoting his stuff because he knows what he's talking about. Okay, so the next section, I'm gonna go ahead and add a headline here. 
right under his video. So the next thing I want to add is a link teaser. So let's go ahead and grab that link teaser and put it underneath the headline and then you can set your content. So I found 39 simple ways to grow your email list by HubSpot and I'm going to copy that URL out of the address bar. Go back to newsletters, click where it says set content and then I'm going to paste the URL into that field and click the green button that says create article and that's going to create a small little link teaser and I'm going to click on that again. I'm going to click the little blue pencil on the bottom right. I want to place a CTA in the end because I would feel great about them reading this article and I forgot to write that in there. So I'm going to turn on this. So if you don't have a CTA, that's fine, but if you want people to read the article and give them value, I highly recommend placing a CTA at the end of this little blurb. Okay, so next I'm going to go back to the smiley face and I'm going to go ahead and put in a joke of the day. We're going to put this underneath the link teaser and I'm going to move this headline to be right above the joke of the day. And then we can write joke of the day right below that link teaser. Okay, and I'm not going to read you with that cheesy joke. Sometimes they're pretty stupid, but that's okay. They're inter they're entertaining, right? So let's go ahead and go back to the little beaker and let's do an article review. So we're going to drag this article review over underneath the joke of the day area. We're going to set content and let's type in some keywords. Let's talk about why newsletters are so important for any business. And we're going to go ahead and click create article. The importance of newsletters for building customer relationships and driving business growth. I'm also going to delete these quotation marks. I don't think we need that in there. And I'm also going to highlight that headline. I'm going to make the headline red. I'm also going to center align that. And actually I'm going to turn it back to blue because my colors are blue and brown. But I like a different blue better than the blue that is just automatic. I like this blue right here a little better. So I'm also going to center align that by clicking the formatting kitchen sink that's right above the headline. And I think I actually want to make those headlines a little bit bigger too. So I want those to be at least 22 pixels. You can make them whatever size that you like. I'm going to make that one 22 pixels. So it's just a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's see what else we can add here. I want to actually add a spacer. So I'm going to click this paper icon in the sections and I'm going to add a spacer in between the joke of the day and this article review. Now let's go back over to the smiley face. I want to do some secret little hacks. So I'm going to drag that in below, ooh, below the last article review and we're going to make that headline blue as well so it all matches make it center aligned, change the pixel size to 22. We're also going to add a tip of the day. So let's drag this tip of the day in between these two blocks right here and let's see how that looks. Here's a fun and useful tip of the day for marketing. Collaborate with influencers and in your industry to promote your products or service. That's a great thing to talk about. I want to make this headline red, center aligned. I think this is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and finish this out. We're going to have the trivia question answer at the very bottom of the email. So we'll drag that in. The trivia question was about market segmentation. So that is the final end of my quick short newsletter. To copy the straight line HTML code, all you have to do is click on the two pages in the top corner right above the newsletter you just created. And I'm going to do this inside of Aweber. You can, it's going to be different and different you are, or in different. I'm going to show you how to do this inside of Aweber. So I've created a campaign here. I want to create a message and I want to scroll down to HTML editor. It's going to pop open another screen here. So I want to paste in the source code. So I'm going to scroll to the top left where it says source. I'm going to delete everything that's in that block and I'm going to paste in that straight line HTML code I grabbed from Letterman. And wait until you see this. It is magical. It'll put this inside of any autoresponder. Let's actually preview and test and see how it looks. Look, it looks exactly like it looked inside of Letterman. Is that incredible or what? So I want to save and exit and I forgot to put a sign off on there. So 
I do like to say goodbye to my users and invite them to open up the next newsletter. So I'm going to go in and change that later. But I hope this video has been helpful and you can see the little thumbnail. You can see Brian Dean's smiling face there. Look at that. Beautifully designed, engaging newsletter created with Letterman AI. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like my channel, sign up for my newsletter, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.